Hi guys, welcome back to Val's Kitchen. On the menu for today, I'm gonna be doing coconut curry chicken foot. Guys, wow. Hmm. All right, here are all the ingredients that I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna use kelian, thyme, onion, garlic, pimento seed, I have hot pepper. I'm not gonna use all of this pepper though. I'm gonna use about a couple slices. And uh, we have to have our curry. We have salt to taste. I'm not gonna use all of this salt. I'm gonna use a little black pepper. You got the vinegar is to wash the, the chicken foot. We have to have our coconut. And I'm gonna use natural coconut to make this curry coconut chicken foot. Yes, I'm gonna use the natural coconut milk to make the curry coconut chicken foot. All right, so here are the chicken foods that have chicken feet some people call it chicken feet but you know Jamaica we say chicken foot but it's more than one so the proper word is should be feet all right so I have to use my vinegar right and I'm gonna clean it then throw them something here have to come off Guys, have you ever heard about this recipe? Curry, coconut curry, chicken foot. Oh, come on, nice. You know, call the coconut milk. Guys, you can tell me different ways of preparing your chicken feet or your chicken foot. You know, uh, we have different, different soup. I put um, chicken foot in stew peas. You know, my brown stew chicken foot. My curry it. You know, but my nose said the, the, the coconut now, it's kind of different. The coconut, um, the coconut curry. But you know, anything coconut milk in there, you know, so that's always nice. So it's just a different way of, you know, from the, the um, everyday oh, that we used to, you know? Yeah. And if you want, you can put uh, some broad bean in it, you know. But well, I think I'm gonna use some broad bean. All right. That's if it's nice, that's if you're kind of dull, so I feel I struggle with it. Because anytime I use a sharp knife, it always cut me. So I'm just try and um, nobody use too much of a sharp knife, you know. So guys, what I'm gonna be doing now? Just clean them up, wash them, and then come back and um, I'm gonna blend up some seasoning and to put together for the, the, the menu. All right. Yes guys, so here is the seasoning that I blend up. All right. This amount is just the right amount. Here are the ginger. And you know some curry ginger. You know, come like it's a part of your, your, your curry recipe, your ginger. You know, make sure you have a look at ginger. I'm gonna just use about, all right, there's a tablespoon I'm gonna use half. I'm gonna put a light for now. I'm gonna like too much salt than my food. And just a small amount of black pepper. Yeah. I'm afraid of the pepper and I'm with my hand for rubbing, you know? So I'm just going to use this. So I'm just using the spoon for now. Alright. So the next thing I'm going to be doing, guys, is blending the coconut. Right? I'm just blending. I'm going to blend the coconut. I'm going to show you how to blend the coconut still. 
All right, we can set this aside for an hour and let it just marinate, you know? Make it soak, as we just say, soak. Yes, right? Okay. Guys, you don't have to go this route. Yeah, you can use the tin coconut milk. Not even tell about the powder, the tin, the tin one in the tin, you can use it. You know, you don't have to go the longer way, but sometimes just feel for the you just go the longer way. Alright. Yes, so what I'm gonna be doing now, guys, I'm gonna burn the curry, kinda cook out the curry first. So I'm gonna use some butter. And I'll use a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. Okay. We use a piece of scallion. We use a trick, you know. When I do the scallion like this. All the juices come right out. Right? Right. Some of the flavor come out before we put in the curry. Alright. So I'm just using a one and a half tablespoon of curry for the small amount. That's a small amount of um, chicken. And I cook out this and some of the curry them of the course, you know, they are easy to cook out certain way. Uh, some people just burn it. It's just it's easy. Okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna put this in the curry and I'm gonna put it in the The next thing I'm gonna be doing now is pour it, just put it in the chicken foot, alright? Put it, make sure all the chicken put it um curry. Then you can just coat it, coat it, and then I will just cover it. We ain't gonna put it in any water yet. The coconut milk I'm gonna use. Right. Just put a little coconut milk at first. So you see the curry pretty and nice, have a nice color. So, let's put in. Coconut milk at the beginning, right? It is so it's coming on real nice. Yes, the color is so pretty. And um, but what I do, what I'm gonna be doing, I keep put some water now. When I finish, when it's near to cook now, I put in back some coconut milk. But for now, use them. You don't want to do too much coconut. You don't want to overpower your, your dish, right? So, that's it, right? Take your time and cook and turn down. We just turn it on and low heat, like it's the end, kind of steam properly. Cook. You know, we don't rush it. Okay. Yes. Wow. Again. Okay. All right, guys, it's 
partially cooked now so just want some gravy so what I'm gonna be doing is put a small amount more um, coconut milk right and um, which are nice though Cause it's cooking now. Let me show you. Let me show you. Just to test it. You see the fog right through the meat. You know? Yeah. So you know, say cook. Alright. Cook. So we just want to cook them just a little bit more. And uh, broad bean. So I mean, I'm not going to put it in as yet. I want the coconut milk. Cook. For about a 10 minutes and then we'll put in my broad bean and then about a minute after we can turn on the stove all right guys yeah yeah so the, this is finished now you know guys so what i'm gonna be doing now this is the broad bean i take it from the tin wash it kind of wash it off the food and um i'm gonna like, take it from the tin and just throw it in the pot like that so okay i make this cook you just get some flavor in the bean them, you know, curry flavor and the thing. The curry flavor and thing and then we just rest the pepper here. You kind of get some flavor. And taste for salt. Perfect. Mm-hmm. So, just one minute, the next couple of two minutes, we just turn it off. Alright? Nice, rich. Yeah. For the coconut milk, everything cook to perfection. Have the right taste, the right everything, you know. So, yeah, all right, guys. Drain out some of the gravy. Oops, you see. So the pepper and I'll leave the pepper you know. hey, hey. yes guys so this is the final dish yes listen guys the coconut milk make, make a world of difference just try it if you never had it with the coconut milk just try it so guys thanks again for watching please remember to subscribe to the channel turn on the post notification bell Put the settings and all so you won't miss an upload. Thanks again, guys, and bye.